Okay, so not having it back with a new look. This is Tales of an Average Cod Player. I ditched the software that came with the Roxio game cap in favor of Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum. And that mainly because that software that Roxio gives you is good, but it's it's good to start out with, but um for me I wanted to do more with my video as far as quality and uh, customization so I did what I had to do and I spent that money to get this Sony Vegas uh, the Sony Vegas was about sixty dollars I have it I got it from um, amazon.com and this isn't like the uh, professional the highest type this is just the um, this is I don't know I don't know where this fits in but it see it works well for what I need to do the interface is really easy uh, I know some of some of the other guys who do YouTube who have YouTube channels use Sony Vegas I'm not sure how popular it is but this is a very good program I'm used to using Sony acid which is a, a program similar to Sony Vegas but it deals mainly with uh, music recording and editing things of that nature so I was really surprised to see that the interface was really s similar and it was really easy for me to parallel over to Sony Vegas so I'm gonna stick with this for I mean there ain't no selling you know I'm gonna stick with this for a while possibly for the you know for the duration of my YouTube channel uh, this is a domination match on uh, airport nah I mean it's called terminal right mm -hmm. I forget I call it airport I call it this fucking map because I don't like it but I deal with it anyway um, my whole plan for this uh, <coughs> match was to get some kills with my sidearm because I want to get that tactical knife but um pretty pretty well pretty shortly after starting this match I figured out that it wasn't gonna happen the way I wanted it to so I did what I had to do and went back to my M4 and I went to work I uh, I like the M4 it is it's a really good game uh, not a really good game it's a really good gun I actually want to buy one in real life um, I, I actually want to build one in real life I'm I'm looking into doing that uh, I've bought plenty of guns before but I haven't actually built one and I'm I'm really getting the prices together to see about building me an M4, son. Hell yeah. I don't have a timeline on when I want to get it done or anything. I just want to. Uh, it's just a goal of mine. But as far as this game uh, is concerned, this gun is really good. I like it. I put the red dot sight on it. Uh, it I mean, the, the gun is actually a default gun, so you don't have to do anything. You literally... You, the only thing you have to do is put the game in and start it up. That, I mean, that's really all you have to do, you know. So that right there is pretty awesome. Uh, what else? It it comes with a grip, and that doesn't use an attachment slot. The gun has a high rate of fire and very little recoil. Honestly, I'm not too sure why this gun isn't. It, it's more popular than it is because people always talk about the scar and you know, the aug spaz 12 which is a secondary i know that but still as far as popularity goes nobody ever really really says the m4 you know it's not really i don't know you know it's like oh man you know i got my, my uh, I got, I got my uh i got my setup here i got the scar uh, you know do a red dot sight stop a power pro I'm a secondary spaz 12. Uh, you know, nobody is ever like, I got the M4 uh, with my free foregrip. And I and I put another attachment on it. And my first uh, fucking uh, perk is going to be Marathon Pro because I don't have to use bling. You want to know why? Because the grip is free. Hmm? How's that sound? It's a very good gun. Please check it out. Uh, if you have seen my last video check that out too it was about a game that's coming out later on in august called body count 
That game is made by the same team who made Black, the game, that, a, a game that came out on PS3 back in, I'm not PS3, PS2 back in the day. It was a first person shooter that was fucking amazing. This game looks like it's going to be fucking amazing. And you really should, I, I am strongly suggesting you check it out. After I hook this guy's mouth up, I'll continue talking about it. Yeah, boy, teabagging for the win. <clears throat> Something that the guy did pissed me off really bad. And I was going to, like, continue my conquest on killing people and trying to take over flags and shit. But I was like, no, fuck that. I got to go back and disrespect his body. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, body count. Looks like an amazing game. I'm going to get it. There ain't no question about it. I'm going to get it. That should hold me over until the, uh, you know, the other games come on. Uh, Resistance 3, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. It's a lot of 3s. Uncharted 3. Fuck, it is a lot of 3s. It's a lot of 3s. So, the, uh, Body Count 1 is going to hold me out until the 4 3s come out. And I think I'm going to really enjoy that game. Some of the things that can hold that game back is like some of the movement when you're aiming down sight is weird. I don't know. I don't know whether they'll fix that or whether I was fucking up. I don't know about that. And I would like to see a game that's long, not a short game that I can finish in one night. I beat, I, before I started playing Modern Warfare 2 um, online, I played the f single player and I beat it in one night. Actually, I had enough time to finish the game and go to, to dinner with my family. So I wish body count would just be long, but check out the video. Um, this video is just about done, as you can see. Um, thanks guys for all the support. I'm not having it and I'm out.